everyone, Tuesday morning here, racing at the door yet again. I've walked the dogs, what have I done this morning? And got ready, I think it's about eight packed lunches. Um, so as you can see, I'm dressed up again, going up to see mum in hospital again today. And I'll quickly show you what I'm wearing and then grab my, make my breakfast, a smoothie, and then I'm out the door. So, let's see what I've got on, the usual pants and the usual shoes. A different top, today is actually a singlet top. But it's a bit cool out today, so I thought I'd um, better put a jacket on. Oh, took me a few goes to find out that I'm happy with, but it actually came together quite well. Um, because the black pants and the white shirt, everything looked very work, like I was a worker. But when I put this necklace on and I put the pink jacket on, I thought it came up quite fun still. And I've gone obviously <laughs> painting my nails this morning. Oh, that was the idea. I knew I did something else this morning. It's actually a, a bright pink highlighter, you know the dark pink highlighter, so that's the colour, it's not what it looks like on the screen at all. Um, so that's fun, and then I've just got the bright pink lipstick on, which is a new one that I got in, um, it's a new box I've got, one of the, <laughs> I can't think of the name of it, it's um, like a natural, organic kind of one. Okay, cherry brown, and the colour is hot pink, and I'm sorry on my lips, but it's indeed a very hot pink, it's really nice. So. That's nice, obviously Australian product made in Tasmania. And I'll try and remember the name of the box that I got in with the new one that I it's just come out, I think, it's the first subscription and it was really good. And I've just got because it was just a touch, perhaps touch bright, I just put my nati natio. Someone was nice enough to correct me up and misspelling natio all this time. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so it's natio happy lip gloss over the top. And then my eyeshadow today. Show you. Now someone has asked me to show you how to do the eyeshadow. I'll try next time I've got time. But I really, I think I'm very much a makeup novice. But I can try and show you how I do my eyeshadow. So I've got this one, which is, uh, what are we? It's from Sephora last Christmas. So it was midnight hours. Like Cinderella kind of one. I assume it was only available last Christmas. I assume they've got new sets out for this Christmas. But I picked that up when we were in the States last year. Anyway, must run, must run, keep going. I can have a pack my snacks already and I've just got to make my smoothie. Chris is giving some treats to the dogs. I've got my basket, <laughs> I've got my a green mango smoothie for breakfast, a water to take with me during the day, and a cordial for on the way home if I feel like it. Snacks we have some chia cookies, peach, no, pear, and raspberry loaf, cherries, and a banana. So that, we do. They're not going to be happy because they're going to be all day, but they have had a walk. And I've got to take this tree to Nan that Amy made. All right, let's go. So I just just dropped Christy off, and now I'm going to head up to Sydney. They should know where I'm going now. Noise can McDonald's for a toilet stop <laughs> and a cup of tea. Well, oh, managed the hospital. It's a lot busier the parking than when we've been here on the weekend. I had to come. Way, way down. I'm not too sure how much parking's left here. But anyway, I've arrived, so I'm going to see Mum now. I'm just visiting Mum, painting the nails for her. Very nice, and we're sitting in, you can actually see a bit better out there today. You can see the Harbour Bridge and Centre Point. Still cloudy, but better view. She's uh, got a nice view, that's for sure. I've already said goodbye to Mum. <laughs> But I forgot to give this tree that Amy made for us, so I bought it from the car, <laughs> collected it and bringing it back. Well, I've just arrived at Westfield Miranda. It's um, quarter past two. If I went straight through, I'd be home at three o'clock, but we want to go and um, I want to look for some pants for myself. So I've got another pair of trousers to wear. And I want to pick up something for Kevin from Bath, no, from Lush, <laughs> for his Christmas stocking. And then probably the last time I'll be up here. The well, last time you're a lush store, except unless I'm with Kevin in Cam in Canberra. So I'm trying to be too long. I haven't had lunch. I've eaten a banana and a cheer cookie on the way, uh, but I think I'll pick up try and pick up something a bit more substantial while I'm here because otherwise um, I'll end up starving. <laughs> so yep, I'll get to it and hopefully not be much more than an hour. And I'll bring Kev, bring Christy at three o'clock and let her know I should be home about four. Just going to Target. Have a look around. Went a lot. Bought some food for myself and a few for gifts. Hello. And I'm going to go over to to T2 now. 
Oh, there's squiz in there. Actually, I'm going to bring Christy first. I don't know where I am. Finished shopping. Sorry I didn't get much video in there. It wasn't really anything exciting to video. I did see a really cute um, little baby even pumpkin patch that had flamingos on it. It was so cute. I don't know any little babies though. <laughs> I thought I was on the shore and I felt too self-conscious to get the video camera out. And actually I had a phone call from Dad when I was in there. Uh, yeah, no, actually said I had such a really good visit with Mum today. She's doing so much better. She's, um, yeah, she's almost back to herself. Um, yeah, so that was good. So I'm heading home now. I feel yuck. I think I'm just hungry. So I, I managed to pick up um, a wrap. With um, egg and lettuce. It's going to get messy to eat in the car, but we'll do our best. Well, I was supposed to get some money out for my grandmother and I forgot, so I don't know if I can do that. Um, I mentioned it's by Thursday, so I'll have to go tomorrow and do that. Alright, heading home now. I rang, tried to ring Christy, but she didn't answer, so I just left a message for her on her mobile phone. So she she wants me, that's what she'll go for. Alright, let's get home. Now I got home and had to bring Amy around to her friend's place to drop some paperwork off. And why would you sing really cute? <laughs> she wanted to come in the car too. Hey Rosie. I miss my puppies. And I'm going to be out again tomorrow with Christy's school fun day. So they're going to have another day on their own. At least another half a day anyway. I've got kindy uniforms in the morning. And then I'll hang around for a bit for the fun day. And then we'll see. It's so cute. So, yet again, I'm glad to be home. It's nearly five o'clock. Oh dear, what a crazy day. I stayed a lot longer with mum than I expected, but I had a really nice visit with her. So, that was good. But I'll be glad to be home. I don't know why Christy's taking so long. So, it's just Christy and me tonight. Amy's got another drama rehearsal. So, not sure what we'll do for dinner. Something easy, no doubt. I've still got half of that um, egg sandwich, which I might take, might have. Hmm. Quite a like a sweet potato. Okay, it comes twisty. Hello. Hello, Christy. Finally home, so I'll quickly um well I might show you everything I've got because some Christmas presents. I just bought myself two um, bath bombs, and I got the fresh face mask from Lush, which is the BBC weed. And the, yeah, oh gosh, I can't talk. Amy and I like that one, and they had a promotion on the hand dream cream hand and body lotion for five dollars for the little tub. So I thought. I little did sample on my arm and it seemed quite nice, so I'll get that too. So my bath bombs, I've kind of had bath bombs for ages from Marsh. I've got the Avo Bath Ballistic and the Blackberry Bath Ballistic. So that's great fun, but I haven't had any. Um, oh, they smell good. And then I've got a few things for Kevin for Christmas. So um, probably, maybe that one, not that one. That one for me, the Candy Mountain Bubble Bath. I think I'll give him the snowman and probably I'll keep the Simmers one. So I've been buying myself stuff for my thing as well. I might give, the, him, him, ah, give Kevin the Norton snowman and the snowman bath for the and those two are going to be probably for my Christmas stocking. And then I've got the girls these for their. But they're not going to fit in their stockings. All the new stockings come, I'll show you in a second. So I've got them these that have the cinders and the snowman. So that was for the girls. So that was all from Lush. Uh, I went to Crabtree and Evelyn. Um, ended up buying this. These were this is a Christmas set of hand creams, and they all smell really good. Um, so I'm going to split them up and give one to each me and the girls. I think. Although I don't know they use hand creams, so maybe I should have all three of them. <laughs> They're really nice. I'm happy to. And I bought a present for my grandmother. But then I just remembered, and they look, they wrapped it up really nice, beautifully wrapped. And then I remembered that we're going to do a secret Santa this year. And I don't need to buy a present. So that might be a spare present for someone else. I went to City Chic and bought um, 
There's some stuff from Tarte as well from City Chic, and I bought some Christmas presents for Amy. She's watching my videos, so it's okay. I can say what I've got. I'll show you what I've got her. So I've got her another pair of the black skinny jeans that she absolutely lives in, and one of her older pair is really faded. They're from like last a year ago, and then I've got her this top with the tiger on it. I think she'll like that. And it's just a single top, and I know she hasn't got many single tops for summer. But that looked like something that she'd like. And then I went into Target, and I've got some, hopefully, pants that will fit okay. Because my one's like this, the zipper is kind of busted, and every time you put it on, the zipper just comes down. <laughs> so I just got those. It's the same size, I think it's the same, the newest, style, slightly different style to what I had. Mine are, I think, two years old. And then I saw. <laughs> I'm a bit with the exercise clothes at the minute, aren't I? I saw they had these nice shirts. I don't know what their um, range is, T30. I guess it's their moisture wicking range. And it's got this bright green, as you can see. And it's a singlet top. Because I've got lots of T-shirts now, but not many singlet tops. And then it's got this... Um, we can sort of see slightly through the green underneath. So, yeah. So I'm pleased with that because I haven't got many singlet tops. Yep, so that was all I got. Yes, yeah, I didn't do a lot of shopping. Um, oh, what's in there? Oh, the Amy's jeans. Yep, so that was all I got. Um, the main reason I wanted to go, well, there's two main reasons to go to the Lush. I also wanted to go to my size because some of the pants in the catalogue look really nice, but the my size there is closed down, apparently. According to the information lady, she better be right. <laughs> so... Pants are really hard for me to buy because I've got a weird shaped body after having two kids and um, having had my blood clot, one leg is bigger than the other. So I can, can usually find pants that fit the normal leg, but they won't fit the bigger leg. So it's really hard to buy pants, but I'll have a look at their return policy and I might may buy them. I think there's two pairs. One pair I remember particularly thinking looked really nice, but I wanted to see them and try them on because of the pants fitting problem that I have. That's why I have so few pairs of pants, because it's impossible to find pants. Look, I'll show you the stockings. They came yesterday. They look really nice. I'm really happy with them. So now I've just got to buy some more um, holders. And I look, had a look today in David Jones, but I didn't have much. So I got the nice reindeer. Kevin got the cute polar bears. Um, okay, do you wonder if I've got another child? Amy likes to be called Athena. So all her friends at school call her Athena and the new school she's going by Athena. She would really like to legally change her name, but um, we've said no, <laughs> funnily enough. <laughs> um, so she might be known as that after she turns 18. <laughs> but I did let her get the stocking because it means a lot to her. Like she's, um, yeah, she really just relates to Athena more than Amy. But anyway, I said, okay, you can call yourself Athena at school, but you're still officially Amy. <laughs> It'll probably get confusing because the sister will call her Amy when they're in the same class. But anyway. Anyway, and Christy got the doves. So, they look all cute together. It'll be nice when we get the stocking holders and they're all at the same height. Oh, excuse me. And that's, um, the puppies. Puppies one. I probably should have got one and bought it with their nose, but they've got a nice one. They're not the biggest stockings in the world. Um... They're probably quite roomy, but they're a bit sort of difficult to get your arm in, I think. I don't know. They're probably normal. I just haven't had a stocking for years, so my kids have got into their stockings. But they look nice. Oh, I've got to bring my grandmother. She's got some shopping she wants me to do. Oh, I bought some mangoes. That's on the side of the road on the way home. And I bought some mangoes, but I didn't do... I picked a tray right at the top, and I couldn't see that that one's kind of brewed. That's just sort of too green. I thought it'd be good to have some green and some yellow. Anyway... That was, um, I think, $15 for the fruit. They're big. Oh, I don't know what to do next. So I've got to my grandmother, put stuff away, and then I've got to edit my video from Sunday because tomorrow is another crazy busy day and organise dinner. And my very helpful daughter is not being helpful. I asked her to do the dishwasher for me. You're going to do it, aren't you? And yeah. I can, then I can video and say how nice you were and how helpful. Hey, I thought I was the male. I could have made you do that too. Okay, it's 6.20 now, so I've finished editing that video. 
That one only took me at 35 minutes. <laughs> so I'll be quicker than the others. And I rang Granny and got her list. And I think some puppy would like his dinner. We've been training her to sit the kitchen. She's, she's now scared to come in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm like someone who's still learning. Are you still learning? We learning? Oh, you're cute. I missed you, puppies. You think that might be some of your dinner? I think you might be right. Well, looking for kitchen, looking for dinner ideas. I found some refried beans from the nachos the other night, so I decided to do refried beans and some salsa and cheese and make a quesadilla. So I know we had a tortilla. Well, that was Lebanese bread for lunch. Whatever it was, that wrap was absolutely beautiful at lunchtime. Jeez, it was good. The dogs enjoyed the other half. <laughs> I'd actually been um, thinking about trying to keep it for, well, for either firstly for dinner or for lunch tomorrow, but it was already going a bit soggy. Cheese, that was a beautiful. Uh, but I have an egg wrap, and also had tomato egg. I think I would have mayonnaise, um, lettuce, and tomato. But the bread, the um, wrap was just beautiful. Uh, I don't often order egg out because it's not free range usually, and I'm sure that wasn't a free range egg, but I really only do it when I'm stuck. The only other wrap that I had there had beetroot in it. And as you know, I was wearing a white top. I was not going to eat beetroot in the car wearing a white top. <laughs> Considered it was the first time I'd worn that white top. No way was I going to do that. So the egg, but it was really nice. I mean, it may have been because it's from that pure and natural shop. So possibly they were free-range eggs because the eggs were really delicious. So um, a lot nicer than usual cage eggs. But whatever. Um, I only have eggs out when I'm stuck. I don't have eggs very often. Anyway, so I've got my... Tortilla going. I'm not really hungry at 6.30, but I thought I'll do my tortilla and I'm going to go and sit down and probably watch a bit of YouTube, I think. Um, because, as you'll probably have gathered by now, if I've been replying to you, I'm days behind again. Um, uh, I'm tempted. I know I should just probably just forget about what I haven't seen and just like go from today, but I don't want to miss things. I don't like to miss things. So I've been sort of trying to eliminate. You might realise I haven't commented on every... Vlog. Some I've been watching and just haven't commented on because I've been doing other things while I've been watching them. Um, and But a few I've just had to say, no, that's just, um, <laughs> let's not watch all of them. I can't, I can't watch all of them. So I do be a bit, bit more um, selective. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's sad. But anyway, I'm doing what I can and I'll, um, I guess I'll catch up eventually. If I get too much from behind, I'm going to have to do a cull though, I think, and just. Um, Delete, but I'm, I've got over a hundred again in my to watch. Um, what do you call it? Uh, not a folder, but that kind of thing. I hadn't, I've only just entered the dishwasher. <laughs> so, Bailey's enjoyed his dinner. There's two empty bowls. They were cleaned last night in the dishwasher, weren't they? So, that's where he's living. Good boy, he's trying to sit outside the kitchen. And we're using the water squirter for him. <laughs> I see Rosie's cleared out. She's eating the dinner and cleared out. Are you being a good boy? Oh, where are you going? Oh, you're cute, baby. Hello, Rosie. Do you come back to say hello? There's no more food. Your dinner's done. Mommy's doing her dinner now. So there's dinner. All done. We're in the other room. That's what looks funny colour. <laughs> but that'll be nice. You know, I think I was inspired by um, Redhead Mare. <laughs> Do you think? This is the last video I watched. And she was making... <laughs> she was showing how to use black beans though. But I think that she wanted to use refried beans. So I think I was inspired by her video. Look, 116 am I to watch? And that was as of this morning. Let's see. Who's next? Oh. It is... Jerry! I don't think I've mentioned Jerry. Yes, Jerry. Um, this is her vlog channel. Yeah, this is Jerry's vlog channel. She does daily vlogs and she also has another channel. Mm. Tell me what it's called. What's her other channel called? She got it here. Oh, hello, Jerry. That's right. Hello, Jerry. Um, I'll try and to put a link down the bottom. I really like Jerry. She's a um, really nice girl. She's got two uh, grown-up daughters. But it's nice to find some um, some of us. I won't say older or more mature. Uh, 
what would be a nice way to phrase it? Um, mums with not so young children? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I actually, when I saw her channel the first time, my life inspired by, um, on someone's comment, that sort of got me to go and check her over because obviously it appealed to me. So yeah, you should go and check her out if you're looking for more vlogs to watch or if you're not interested in vlogs, go and check out her um, Hello Jerry channel. She does uh, hauls and then you should go, ugh, come talk. It says here, beauty, health, decor, DIY, fashion, etc. And she does a lot of videos for um, more aging skin. You can see the aging skin and things like that. So she does talk about a lot of issues that us... What's, what's a nice phrase? More well-lived ladies? <laughs> I don't know. Older or more mature just sounds like we're grandmothers. Uh, <laughs> so we need a we need a phrase. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have my dinner now and watch Jerry. My noisy family are back. Maybe hasn't stopped singing since she walked in the door. Kevin, I think the fly is dead. That's enough. Yeah, I can see him. Well, you sprayed him. Oh, Kevin, I hate fly spray. Well, you don't have to drink it. Well, I do. I'll probably taste it now. It's yum. So anyway, and I'm after that, you bought in the last. Oh, I can taste it. Yuck. I said it's slow. You're into one, but just irritates the hell out of me. So I got my new last habit box for November. What do we got? I've got a facial mask. I think I've got. Oh no, I did one of these ones. It was quite nice. This is a different one, but from the same. Company. I haven't used it that long ago. Um, these aren't any good for me usually because they don't usually work for uh, Wollongong. Anyway. I like Davro. I use their stuff, Davro. Look at that. All these brochures. Okay. Uh, so the good stuff. Okay, so I've got a, got a mask, a hair mask. Is it a hair treatment? Well, so I like Devro. Um, a little exfoliating scrub. Some Aveda exfoliant. And a hydrating cream. A little perfume scent session. A little bit sort of like a, I don't know, a little card from Mary Kay. And Mary Kay foot scrub. And a little mascara. You got a bit already. It's only not even eight o'clock. Well, that's nighttime. Darker. I convinced Kevin to stay up and watch. Um, we've got one more Boardwalk Empire to watch, so we're going to watch that, and then no doubt go to bed. <laughs> it's a bit, bit more respectable time than eight o'clock. Poor thing. He's very stressed with work. Anyway, um, so I'm boiling the kettle and then let's have a cup of tea. Hey, Kevin goes, you had a lush spree. There's the two balls that are in there. The rest of the stuff's put away because half of it's for him anyway. I don't know what he's talking about. Strange. Anyway, I'll say good night. Another big day tomorrow. Well, I suppose we do kindy fittings. But the school's fun day, especially last Friday, and got cancelled for the rain and put on to tomorrow. So I don't know how my kindy fittings are going to go because I don't think any of the kindy. Unless they're already up at the school for the fun day, I don't think I need parking. So I'm not quite sure what's happening tomorrow. It'll be a bit of a see, but I know I'll probably set the fun day for a few hours anyway with Christy, and then but hopefully not too late because I've just been so crazily busy. It's not funny. And then tomorrow night, she's got um, an information night in Montessori for Year 7 stuff, and Amy's going to come along too. Um, yeah, so I'll say good night and I'll see ya sometime. Maybe later on in the week. We'll see. Uh, Guy Wilder's Wednesday video, which will probably be up before this one. And I've still have for my spring favourites. Okay, talk to you next time. Bye.